All right, you lot, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to do something that's almost guaranteed to take you right back to your childhood, if you're a Brit. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have a go at making Jaffa Cakes. Before we start, a shout out to Paul, who spotted us uh, in a lighting shop about a week, week ago. We got a new light fitting for the living room, uh, <laughs> which I'm not going to show you. <laughs> Anyway, um, he uh, was brave enough to come up and say hello, which was much appreciated. So, yeah, shout out for you. And also, this recipe was requested by Mr. Bazza, 1968, a great year. <laughs> um, I, well, almost requested. He actually wanted a giant Jaffa cake. I don't, yeah, I don't really do giant things because, you know, they're, they're, they are the size they're meant to be. I'm sure he'll enjoy this. Just as much. Jaffa cakes were invented by Mr. McVitty and his business partner at the time, I've forgotten his name, in 1929 and became very, very popular. They're a sort of uh, biscuity cakey base with a disc of orange jelly and a lid of dark chocolate, and they're wonderful. Oh, yeah. And also, the great debate is it a cake? Or is it a biscuit? It's actually really is halfway between the two. It's it's too soft to be a biscuit, but it's too hard to be a cake. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, make a donation, become a patron, etc. And without further ado, let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to start off making the jelly, and um, I'm going to make mine in this uh, sort of bun tin, fairy cake tin, because I've got two. One of them. I'll use to make the, yeah, the cakey biscuit things and these for the jelly discs. Now most people do what Mary Berry tells you to do which is to line a flat baking sheet with cling film and pour you, you know a film well a layer of jelly in that and then cut it out with uh, a small cookie cutter after it's set which is fine uh, it's just I think these these, are, these will be about the right size and we'll have a nice curve rather than a hard edge to our jelly. So, might make a difference, it might not. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. So to make your jelly, you can do it the chef way and use gelatine, or you can cheat and use um, you know, jelly, jelly. <laughs> and I, I've, I've not actually had my hands on something like this for, uh, well, I don't know, since I was a teenager, um, we just don't have jelly, you know, we used to, we used to as a kid, we used to have jelly with uh, ice cream or, or something, and um, yeah, oh, we used to eat these, we used to, used to eat these raw. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm watching. So, I'm going to use that, but I'm going to beef it up or uh, juice it up with some actual orange juice and some orange zest. So according to the packet, we need um, uh, 570 ml of liquid altogether. It's pint, um, but uh, because I want an intense flavour and I want a thicker jelly, I'm just going to use about half of that. So what we do to start off with is rip your jelly into cubes and pop them in a jug. I'm going to add about just under half a cup of boiling water. I can't use this jug to measure accurately now because I've put the jelly in and stir that until it's all dissolved. Okay, that's nicely dissolved and then we'll top it up with the orange juice and the zest and a bit of cold water to bring it up to the 465ml mark known to you as half pint. Alright, that's the jelly. So. Uh, now we can pour that into our mould type things. So actually I'm going to use a, a tablespoon so we get the same amount in each um, indentation. Half a tablespoon. <laughs> and we'll stick that in the fridge to set. So there's quite a bit of jelly left over, I'll just pour that into bowls and we'll have that as um, 
a kitty treat <laughs> with maybe some whipped cream or Right, to make the biscuity cakey basey, I've got two eggs, 40 grams of sugar, 40 grams of plain all-purpose flour, 15 grams of butter, which needs to be melted, and a couple of drops of almond essence. Now, uh, <laughs> the sugar, it's best if you use cal uh, caster sugar, powdered sugar, but, um, and you'll have some of that if you are the kind of person that replaces stuff as soon as it's run out. I'm not, so I've got granulated sugar, and I'm pretty sure that'll work just as well. Now, this kind of sponge, it's, um, it's something like a Genoese or a, or a fatless sponge, even though it's got a bit of butter in it. With a proper Genoese, you whisk your eggs and sugar together in a bowl over a pan of simmering water. I'm not going anywhere near that because uh, I will get scrambled eggs. I always do with things like that. Any number of people who don't bother with the heating bit and it works fine, so. Uh, we need to get the eggs and the sugar in the bowl. So we'll just um, smash the eggs into the bowl using any egg smashing technique you like. And um, add the flour, we need to sift the flour. And when I say flour, what I mean, of course, is sugar. And just give that a quick mix. Make sure you've got everything kind of in the mix. Because sometimes with a stand mixer, you get bits of stuff lurking at the bottom, untouched by any stirrer, whisk, or whatever. So just do that, and then uh, we're going to whisk it. And you want to whisk that on a sort of medium speed for at least five minutes, or until you get a stage that's known as the rhythm stage. That means when you take some of the mixture and dribble it back into the, the bowl, it leaves kind of ribbon trails in the remaining liquid. So now we need to get the oven on, preheating to 180 degrees Celsius for a fan oven. That's 200 convection. That's gas six. So now we need to fold the flour into the egg and sugar mix and also add the butter and the almond extract. So be very gentle with it. You don't want to knock the air out, but you do want to get the get the flour completely blended so you can't see any of it. Now I've uh, buttered my dimples in the um, bun tray because, uh, well, I always do because I don't trust non-stick stuff. So you want some of this in each indentation, not quite up to the top because it will rise. Okay, these go in the oven for eight. Minutes, eight minutes. <laughs> Possibly a tad overdone, but never mind. They get covered in chocolate, nobody will know. So, they're, um, they're looking a little bit, well, quite tiny, a lot smaller than your actual Jaffa cakes, but uh, not to worry. They need to cool, cool down completely before we put the jelly on and then the melted chocolate. So my amazing plan to get the jelly discs all the right size is complete rubbish, because that's actually the same size, same diameter as the little bun thing underneath it. So I need to cut them down. This is a little cup type thing <laughs> that's the right kind of size. Carefully place them in the middle so there's a border all the way around for the chocolate to stick to. Right, last bit, put the chocolate on. So the chocolate has been, well, it's all nicely melted, but it's been just sitting around for about five minutes, so it's not too hot, hopefully, because uh, the, one, the one thing you don't want to happen is for your jelly to melt when you put hot chocolate on it. So here we go, dribble, dribble. Get it right to the edge. I'm going to pop those in the fridge right now. Okay, chocolate's all set. 
So now we need a little bit of decoration on the top. I've got some very hot water that's just come off the boil and a fork and we just kind of melt some lines in the top. And now it's taste test time with Mrs. Keith Cook. Oh, got it. Oh, petal. Got lipstick. Mmm. Not my colour. We won't do that. <laughs> Have you got over your hysterics? Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching. If any Bones fans out there, I was watching the start of season nine, episode eleven. <laughs> yes. Oh dear. Right. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, the texture of the filling isn't like that Jaffa cake. <sighs> but the flavour absolutely is. And it's got actual orange peel in it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, zest. Mm. But yeah, so um no prizes for neatness on the chocolate front. But um mm. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of impressed by mm. those. I'll never do it again, but yeah. I thought they wanted you to make a giant Jaffa cake. <laughs> Not lots of little. Right, this is where we do the special thing where we shrink down to it like that. Sorry. No, this and is where you have to build another one. Jaffa cake. <laughs> These are nice, she mm. said, yeah. reaching for another one. Mm. They really are. Yeah. You've seen the filling, I'm sure there are photographs. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Mm. Mm. Yeah, bit of fun. Cake, orange, and coated in chocolate. It doesn't get any better than this. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Right then. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Including Paul. Did you tell him about Paul? Yeah. Yeah, that was so nice. <laughs>